Hi, good afternoon, my dear student. Yes, most important chapter today I am going to discuss. Which one? The integration. Integration. So, you have heard that word integration. Where you have know that? So, in your classroom, in tech, right? Or otherwise, in your previous year, limits. Limits and derivative. Limits means we are going to express per the extends to some point and limit extends to a f of x is equal to a or limit extends to some point here i can consider on this so here the sum of all the limits we are going to depending for the one of the greatest integration so on this one it is a most important derivative form the differential calculus is a centered concept of the derivative the original definitions of derivative original definitions of derivative to point out or to defining for the tangent of the function of the line and such a slope of the line we are going to we are going to point out on this base another most important integral calculus is original definition to point out or to defining to defining area bounded by the curve of the function on that one we are going to express for the integration do you know that any differential whatever you can consider on that one that derivative form to extend we are going to derivate that value on that interval i that natural questions arise so many times you know that so we are going to express on this base anti-derivative point or the process of derivative reciprocal or inverse process of differentiation it is called anti-derivative or primitive and this on this one we are going to express for the very important clear concept how to take the values here two things are there to pointing the values or to pointing the derivative of the slope of the function and another one how to take the values that very important for the area bounded curve so in this one you have keep observe definite and indefinite constituent that is called the integral calculus on this base the very important for the fundamental theorem of calculus we can express for the value on this base the very important clear definition the inverse process of differentiation is called the the inverse process of differentiation is called the a very important integration so another word anti-derivative we can call let us discuss how to take the values one by one so here we are going to express for the one important differentiation of dx so we can express for the trigonometric we can express for the whatever the values for example sin x some function c is there right in this one differentiation of dx sin x plus differentiation of dx right so here differentiation of ah sin x cos x this is a zero so here cos x differentiation of dx sin x plus c so c means some arbitrary function or parametric form we can express so on this one we are going to express for the antiderivative so here the function cos x dx is there so shall i express sin x plus c right so why i can consider some it means already i told to you it is indefinite integral so this means some values are there then it is called the arbitrary constant parametric equation on this one any examples you can take so these are which constitute definite and indefinite both are called the at a uh, we can express for the integration so he will consider another one value any differentiation differentiation of dx e to the x is there so this is e x what about integration e x dx so e x plus c so here differentiation of dx a x is there so you can express a x log a is there so in this one how to define a x dx so here a x divided by log a plus c is there 
on this one whatever you can consider a uh, differentiation first we are going to express for the differentiation of tan x here second square ax is there integration of second square x dx so tan x so this is the process to find out for the integration so most important concept in a whole PUC values that that is the maximum marks are otherwise the CET and our annual exam in so many applications are there we are using all these things in this one so uh, we are going to find out for the and uh, how to find out for the integration or uh, how to find out for the antiderivative some applications are there and we are going to define in that next class and along with here types of uh, integration so many parts substitutions are there partial fraction by parts are there each values are there and along with the different type of integrations are there formulas are there definite integrals are there each should be we are going to study it in our next class so thank you so much please everyone listen carefully and very work hard bye thank you so much